a THOG video. Hi, welcome to my latest video. So uh, this is one of my man-eating series of videos which I've not done for absolute ages. But hey, it uh, involves food, which is awesome. So let's make this thing happen. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try an experiment. We're going to take a meal that didn't really work and make it better. The meal that we're talking about is some bolognese. I made some bolognese earlier. It's nothing wrong with it, perfectly good. Um, we've got some uh, beef mince in here. We've got a load of veg. We've got mushrooms, onions, peppers, load of herbs, some garlic. Um, there's actually some of the pasta left that we had the pasta with. Um, made a few mistakes with it, to be quite honest. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's quite sort of pureed, to be honest. I didn't chop it up enough initially, so I whacked it in, in the new tube lead or whatever the thing's called, and it whisked it up too much. So, kind of made this sort of gloop. And it's okay, but it's not really that nice. So, I didn't, even, I didn't actually finish my tea, to be honest. So, I'm going to try and rework it into something even better. Let's see what happens. So, what I'm thinking of is making a sort of evil bolognese on toast. That's the theory. So, a couple of slices of bread. We'll just pop that in the toaster, ready to go. Uh, in fact, we'll say it's going because the toaster is very, very lovely, but you have to kind of toast the thing twice because it's not big enough for the bread. Really irritating. So we've got that. Okay, so we're going to take some of our some bolognese puree, fry it up with some extra ingredients, and uh, see if we can give it a little bit of an extra kick. So we'll get the pan. So uh, let's get our pan cooking. Um, I tend to use the fry light stuff, we've got a number of different fry lights here. Um, sunflower oil is my wife's favourite one, Denka, if you've seen her show. But uh, I've just got, and I don't really like that much, but I've nearly used it up, so that's nearly gone. Um, I also have a coconut one, that one's quite cool. Um, today, we use sunflower, we can't go far with sunflower. Um, well, shall we? I tell you what, we're going to go crazy because we are going to go. Crazy to make this thing amazing. So I'm actually going to use a hint of olive oil. Don't usually use olive oil. I like olive oil. My wife's not a huge fan to be fair, so we don't use it that much. So a little gloop of oil in the pan. Get that going. Nice high heat. Yes, yeah, so that should be good. Once we've got that cooking through, um, we're going to basically just add a couple of ingredients to the bolognese to try and make it a little bit more exciting, a little bit more zizzy. So what I'm going to stick in here, um, one of my favourite, favourite things in the kitchen is from the Spice Emporium. It's chilli and garlic salt. Really nice. Um, it says it adds heat and flavour, perfect for chicken or vegetable dishes. It's absolutely for any dish basically. So... We'll put a load of that in there to just really get, get that kick in. Okay, this is the first round of the toast. We'll flip it over, turn the toaster down a little bit, give that another go so it can be cooking away. Um, so our oil isn't quite there yet, but it's not far off. Spatula, it's gonna go far on with a spatula plate. Will be essential, very, very soon. It's gonna be a quick dish. This, you know, I'm just gonna um, lob all this in there, let's give this a bit of a stir. Um, I'm wondering whether to put anything else in here apart from just that salt. Um, got some mixed herbs. I've already got quite a lot of mixed herbs in here, but I'm gonna put some more in. Mmm, really nice, really nice flow. smell from those mixed herbs, that's good. Um, I've got a little bit of turmeric in, I absolutely love turmeric, it's got um, health stuff in it, capsicum, you know, it's got loads of like, health benefits, but apparently it only really works if you cook it, you don't really get a benefit if you just like have it as like a supplement, so you need to cook with it, so that's fine. So we'll stir all this in. Mm. 
Okay, so the toast done. Now you'll probably say that toast is overdone. No, I'm quite happy with that toast. Well done toast, I know my toast is well done. The uh, oil's just about there now, so let's slap a bit of this in there. Oh, you hear that sizzling? Properly sizzling in a way. And you don't get a sizzle when you fry like I have to say. You only get it with proper oil, so. Okay, so that's cooking away in the pan. I'm going to really let that go on a high heat. I want that to proper, not quite burn, but. Yeah, you know you've cooked it. So we'll put this on. Put this back on. The other thing that I'm going to want is I'm going to need some cheese. Again, everything you have to need cheese. Just about everything, better with cheese. So I'll just pop these back in the fridge. And we'll get out some cheese. So what have I got here? I have got some um, Tesco Mature Reduced Fat Cheese. Um, very nice stuff. If you do get the, re the reduced fat cheese, I would recommend getting like the mature or the extra mature if you can get that. Just kind of it counteracts the reduction in flavour that you get from the last fat. Now the other thing I'm going to throw into this, just to make it absolutely crazy, um, I am over 18, this is an evening. Um, I've got some spice from. Just going to lock some of this in there, just to kind of... Wow! Yeah, you really give it a, a sort of a... An amazing a series of different kicks. That's what I'm going for with this thing. A range of different kicks that's going to hit me all over the place. Because it's part of this, it was nice, but it was just a bit plain. It really didn't do that much for me. Disappointing. So, they are cooking nicely. Really nice. Um, in fact, I'm going to put some more. Chili and garlic salt in there. Give that, just drop that down a tiny bit just to let it bubble away. It's only going to be like two, three minutes and it's ready to eat. So, I want some cheese. Now, I'm using the bigger hole, holes that are great on the cheese grater. If you want to actually, so they say calories, use a smaller one because you get more. Flavour, so you need to use less cheese. A little tip there. It's a surface area uh, ratio thing. Um, if you grate cheese, you don't need to use as much of it because um, it touches more of your tongue. So you taste more of it. And you, you know, if you eat a block of cheese, try it that block, I would only taste the out, you know, the bits on the outside, which when you grated it, this normal bit. Okay. That's fantastic. Give this another stir. We're ready in literally like one, two minutes. That's going to be ready. So, my toast. Firstly, We'll put some low pack spread of oil on, a bit of bitter butter. And again, I think one of the things I actually like when the toast is well done is you can really see where you buttered. You can see just how different that colour is. Really stands out. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed because there's a few things I would have liked to use in this. Um, I did have some, some piccalilli, that would have been great, uh, it would have been absolutely fantastic, but sadly I used all that up, so that's gone. Um, or maybe some other chutneys or some pickled gherkins, but I'm a bit low on supplies, so just using what I've got. Okay, so that's that, that's there. I'm going to take this 
Um, actually, I'm just going to leave that on the heat for one second more because the other thing I'm going to throw on here, just to make it totally, totally crazy, Tesco finest traditionally ho uh, traditionally made whole grain mustard with white wine. Love mustard. Oh, oh it's got a proper kick of that again. This, this this is going to be like like a fight. This meal. It's going to be combat. Not, I do not know which of the two of us is going to make it out to my water bottle. I'll go silly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. <coughs> oh, it's making me cough. That nice. It's lovely. Um, I love how you, with the whole grain you can feel the little grains of mustard in there. So I'm just going to spread that out on my toast. So just a thin coating, not too strong. Just enough so I can really feel it. Um, I've not put any chilies, I've not put any curry powder in this, which you know for me is kind of an unusual thing, but hey. Right, so now I've got that. So already lovely cooked. So I'm just gonna put that straight on the toast. Wow. Couple of massive blobs of yumminess right there. Okay, so we've got those. Then we've got to put generous, generous coating of cheese on. Um, if I was really going over the board, what I would maybe even do is I might even lay these. I might do like a bit of bolognese, put some cheese, more bolognese. Cheese on the top. I'm going to do that. You've got to draw the line somewhere, haven't you? So, with that, there we go. Cheese on this one. And there we have it. Let me grab that camera so you can have a look. Look at that. Wow. If that's not the most insane bolognese on toast that you've ever seen, let's try it. Fork, knife, some fighting irons. Really looking forward to this, it looks gorgeous. Oh, you can hear the crunch of the toast. Oh, it smells really nice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. That's really nice. The, um, the chili and garlic salt. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely aftertaste with the chili and garlic salt. salt. The bolognese is better. Um, I think the Captain Morgan's has a little bit of um, depth to the, to the flavour. The um, chili garlic salt is a great aftertaste. The mustard is amazing. The mustard is perfect. It gives you a, it's kind of an initial kick. It's the first thing that you taste is like that. Oh, mustard! And then get, and it kind of goes away while you eat the rest of it. And then afterwards, you feel the mustard again. Really, really nice. That is so much better than my first attempt with the bolognese. I'm going to be using the left, the rest of the bolognese up tomorrow and doing this to it, maybe with all the. Captain Morgan's, depending on the time of day. But, uh, yeah, that's me cooking. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.